I am so excited because the Step the Out Step TV, Out shows TV shows are back live on T2I TV. And for those who don't know, Step Out is a series of interviews and motivational segments designed to bring the best out of you and your business. Therefore, we have the following TV programs. Our first TV program, which is our flagship program, dubbed Step Out Step with Out Oscar, with Bimpong, Oscar Bimpong, Bimpong, is designed to interview consultants, experts, talented people, and those doing exceptionally well in their communities. The second one is Step is Out Step SME, Out, SME, SME Focus. 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 This is where we interview business owners and showcase their products and services. The third one is Step is Out step Youth, out impact, youth zone. impact Zone. This is where we interview young people succeeding against all odds to serve as an inspiration to other young people. And the last one is Step Out Authors, Authors Corner. Corner. And this is where we interview authors to share what their book is about to the world. Join us every week. Like T2I TV on Facebook and subscribe to the YouTube channel. To advertise or for further information, do WhatsApp plus 44759-1152983 or plus 233-5558039-24 or email info at traintoinspire.com. T2I TV. We engage, educate, enlighten, and empower. empower. Welcome to another exciting edition of the Step Out with Oscar Bimpon Show. And tonight is another powerful discussion that we are bringing to you all the way from me sitting in London with my guest coming all the way from Wales. And that is Cardiff. It's going to be an amazing discussion. And you, 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 you will love today's discussion. The energy that my guest has is amazing and trust me if you are watching us all i want you to do is to for you to share this for somebody to have an opportunity to watch this powerful discussion and also i would like you to like our page on facebook t2itv uk and subscribe to our youtube ch channel before i go on i want to do some few mentions of our sponsors this program is sponsored by train to inspire consultancy for those that don't know, T2I TV, the T2I means train to inspire. And me and my team are the brain behind train to inspire. Train to inspire is for business training and consulting. For all your business training needs, speak to us. We can develop bespoke training programs for your organization. We also work with schools in colleges, universities, and also in second cycle institutions in terms of of the personal development of students. And my newly published book now is designed for students. We will be talking a bit about it. Mindset Revolution, Regenerating the Mind from Prison to Purpose. Something that is for the youth. Something that is for students. Something that is for people that cannot achieve their goals in life. And that is what Train to Inspire Consultancy is all about. To change the narrative, to change mindsets, and to cause people to believe again. Then also, ZP Ghana Limited, your remit remittance and mobile money company based in Ghana. ZP just launched their USSD code, and that is star 270 hash. Just dial it on your phone and register for ZP Mobile Money. ZP Mobile Money, you don't need an agent to register. Just a dial on your phone, and you can register for ZP Mobile Money. Now, if you want to contact any of the sponsors, their contact details are scrolling on the screen. Just take them and contact them. Also, if you want to really sponsor what we do or you want to support us, you are more than happy to do so. Take the number for T2YTV UK or Train to Inspire Consultancy and support us 
for us to build a platform for Africans by Africans and also those in the diaspora. We want to have the CNN of our own. That is, our people will not be waiting for BBC or CNN to recognize them or to give them platform, but we are creating our own platform. And that is what it's all about. Now, let me bring my guest on. And who is on the horse seat today? So my guest, my guest is, he is a coach that is a transformational life coach. He is a mentor and he is a motivational speaker. There is a beast in him when it comes to motivation and today you are going to have an iota of that. And also, who is this person that I'm talking about? He is in a person of Ricardo Erasmus, coming all the way from the capital city of Wales and that is Cardiff. And I want to say, welcome to Step Out with Oscar Bimpo and you are live on T2I TV UK. Hi, Oscar. Thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'm pumped up. I'm excited for tonight. And uh, thank you to everyone who's tuning in tonight. So, yeah, I'm coming live from um, actually from the valleys, about 20 minutes outside of Cardiff. Um, so I am, I am so thankful for this opportunity. Thank you very much. How has your day been? My day has just been um, chilled out. I just uh, um, saw one of my mentees today, uh, had a uh, had a nice lunch outside, outside, <laughs> and um, so we had a we had a great chat. And um, yeah, and I came back home prepared for tonight, so I'm quite um, excited. Wow! I wish I have a lunch. <laughs> Maybe I have to think about it. We haven't got out of the corona yet, but it, it's, we are we are now there now. We are now there now. Now our topic for discussion is is a very mm. powerful discussion. But before I go on to our topic, I want to encourage you to really share this for somebody to have an opportunity to really join us in this discussion. Trust me, you might never know somebody's mindset. Somebody might believe again. Somebody will say, "Wow." Mm. I can do it just because of today's discussion. So please share this, like our page, T2ITV UK, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, our topic for discussion, building coaching and mentoring culture, the power of role models. Yes. Now, let's go straight to business. Who is Ricardo Erasmus in your own ways? Yes, yeah, so Ricardo Erasmus is uh, a Cape Tonian boy all the way from South Africa, um, from the Cape Flats, Mitchell's Plain, um, coming from a high risk community in Cape Town and uh, where there's lots of gang violence, um, high alcohol, alcohol uh, drug abuse. You know, I come from a background like that, but also I come from a background where there's uh, tenacious people, resilient people, people that... Um, you know, day to day, living a life, you know, fighting against all odds and um, coming from a place like that. I come from a single parent home. My mother is still in Cape Town and uh, my brother and three sisters. And um, and so I've been in Wales now for the last 15 years. Mm. And um, yeah, that is I played semi-professional football in South Africa, table tennis. And um yeah, that is just, and I'm married to my beautiful wife, Naomi, for 10 and a half years. So that's me. Well, 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 well. I have I have a, a man that I brought on the show and after introducing myself and he said, I only have one wife, you know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But, yeah, that's quite interesting. But our topic, building coaching and mentoring culture, the power of role models. Now, can I ask you, what is the difference between coaching and mentoring? Mm -hmm. So mentoring is where you use your experience, you use your wisdom, you use all the all the things that you've accumulated over the years in terms of experience to share with young people or share with anybody who are willing to learn. So mentoring is more of an experience where coaching is not so much experience because coaching is more of the power of questions, uh, active listening. Um, it's uh, coaching is very much um, 
the client, it's about the client discovering self-awareness and the client coming to their own conclusions. Whereas, whereas um, mentoring is very, uh, it's about advising. Coaching is not advising. Coaching is exploring. Mm. Coaching is exploring. Yes. But do people really like to be coached? Um, yeah, that's a... <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the, that's the problem, Oscar, because people who don't want to be coached, either they don't understand what coaching is or they are not willing to be taught, mm. not willing to be teachable, because coaching is so powerful, it's so dynamic. Even myself, I have a coach that I pay because I see the value in coaching. Because most of, like all of us, not most of us, all of us, we already have answers inside of us. And what coaching does, coaching explores what's in you that you might not necessarily know that's already there. So coaching, you have to be teachable if you want to be coached. So not a lot of people are willing because some people would say, oh, that's a lot of money. I don't want to pay that. But if you, you can't put you can't put a value on your on change, you can't put a value on on changing. So I think a lot of people understand, but there's also a lot of people who don't understand the power of coaching. Now, you made mention of teachable, right? Now, yeah. do you think in our generation, people have got the humility to be teachable? For example, I'm a teacher, but sometimes the way your students behave, you're like, this one is even in the former classroom, but in an informal setting, do you think people are ready to be teachable? Wow. And that's why I was saying, Oscar, is about it's creating a culture where that is normal in society. So take, for instance, when I grew up in Cape Town, our culture was about being teachable because the elders... Who, who was wiser than us, we trusted their wisdom to guide us. So therefore, you easily become teachable because you trust the information that has been given to you. Mm -hmm. So it is about, it's a mindset to be teachable. When we have a mindset to be teachable, what we're saying is, I don't know everything, but mm -hmm. what I know, I give. But what I don't know, I'm willing to learn. So it's a mindset in order to be teachable. But that's the thing. In the generation that we're living in now, not a lot of young people are teachable mm. because we go on YouTube. We got we have so many resources for ourselves that we mm. think that I know it all. Mm. But once we come to a place of knowing it all, we're actually limiting ourselves from progressing. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Because um, you see, um, it, it's quite difficult. But. For example, I, when it comes to coaching, there is one thing I always tell people, that if you have got a good coach, it's like a coach that wins the premiership, right? That yes. is what that coach yes. does. What does, that, what, what does. what does he do? He you makes, win. Yeah, he makes sure they win, right? And, win. and that is what a coach does. But on the high side, do you think mm. people are ready to succeed in life? Wow. You know, when I was saying to you about my background, where I come from, now people can Google or you could go on YouTube and, and just type in Cape Flats. Mm -hmm. And once you see the environment where I come from, mm -hmm. you would look at the environment. One thing I always said to myself, my environment will not dictate to me where I'm going. I'll mm -hmm. say it again. My environment will not dictate to me where I am going in life. I need to have a goal. I need to have a vision. I need to know where I'm going. And the desire of getting to your end goal should be greater than the environment that you live in. Mm. So, so for me is I look beyond the, the, the shooting of guns. I look beyond the abuse. I look beyond because I know inside of me is greatness, just like in anybody else. You have greatness inside of you, but you have to be in the right environment. You need to have the right people around you. Mm. And that's why it's important to be teachable. That's important. That, that's why it's important to be coached. Mm. Who doesn't want to win? Mm. Come on. Mm. Who doesn't want to win? Mm. All of us wants to win. Mm. So therefore, you have to be teachable. Mm. Yeah, but 
it is quite interesting. You talked about the environment. And environment has placed a lot of limitations on people. Mm. So if the environment I live in, if the in that in that environment, if people make 200 pounds and mm -hmm. they are comfortable, they don't aspire to get 300 pounds. Now, how do you break that limitation? Yeah, it's a limiting belief, isn't it? It's a limiting belief that says 200 pound that's it but you'll discover as things fluctuate as as things that you are buying increases your 200 pound won't take you that far so it is important to 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 break limiting beliefs just like i was saying in cape town when i grew up i had limiting beliefs because my environment said that you 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 were born here you'll die here Mm. My environment dictated to me that this is this is the end game for you. Mm. And so therefore, I had to look at what is possible. Where can I find the people that is beyond my environment? And mm. that's how you break limiting beliefs, because you have to be in a place where you go against the grain and going mm. against the grain. It, 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 it requires you to break limiting beliefs. Mm. So if you have a 200 pound and you, you only believe you can earn a 200 pound when things around you increases then that 200 pound is now a place of limitation mm. so it is about it's about not not becoming rich for the sake of just becoming rich but i believe that you need to have more than enough so that you can also give to other people mm. and and that's the that's how i broke that limiting beliefs and even up till now it's like stepping out you have to step out constantly Find out where are the places in your life and your thought patterns that's limiting you from achieving. And when you achieve, it's not for status, but it's for service. It's not, not for, for status, status, but it's, it's for, for service. service. Wow. It's wow. for service. Wow, wow, wow. But you see, the people that surround you is... I, I always say that the car that is ahead of you can determine your speed. <laughs> mm. Yeah? The car that is ahead mm. of you can determine your speed. If that car yeah. is going 10 miles per hour on a 30 mile road and it's only one road, you don't have no option than to wait. Mm. And the people that you surround yourself with, they are very critical to your success in life. Now, how mm. can somebody go against the tide of the people they surround themselves with to really achieve more than enough in that environment that they find themselves? Good question. Mm. <laughs> That's a good question. Mm. Uh, uh, it is about, like you were saying, it's about you have to have a goal. You have to have a vision. It's so important to have a goal and have a vision because just like you were saying that people will dictate where you're going. So this is the commitment I made to myself. When I looked at my surroundings in Cape Town, mm. I said to myself that I will not be a negative statistic. Mm. I said to myself, I will not be a negative statistic. So that's my goal. Mm. So now it has become part of me. I will not be a negative statistic, but instead I will be a statistic that will help young people look at me and say, it is possible. Mm. If he can make it, it is possible. But you have to have a desire to con that connects to your goals, your dreams, your ambitions, and your vision, so that you know that even though they are still shooting guns, even though the community is still high risk, I have something inside of me that will dictate where I go, but it's for my responsibility to make sure that the people that I surround myself with are the people that adds fuel to the goal that I have. Wow. I don't want to be a negative statistic. And that is really a powerful statement to make. But it means that you are saying you should have a goal. And having a goal means that you, you have a vision of where you want to be. Now, yes, that desire in you, who is supposed to spark it? Do you just wake up one day and spark it yourself? Or what happens? Yeah, it's good. One day, I uh, this is really good. So I had a goal of becoming a professional footballer, right? Mm -hmm. Professional footballer. In my community, there was so much negativity that said, people believe that you will never make it because you are just born to be there and die there mm. so my, des my desire was always to become a professional footballer and this is what i want to say to our viewers is that 
Not everybody will clap hands and encourage you based on your goal. Mm. There will be people that will say there's no way that you would amount to anything or you would make it big time in your goal and your dream. So the responsibility, number one, is for you to believe that that dream is that, that dream is yours. Mm. You are responsible for nurturing that. You are responsible for who you're going to allow in the space mm. to add value to that goal and that dream. Mm. So when I lost my football career because of a broken ankle, that was the end of my career. But it wasn't the end of my dream. Wow. Now, check this out. I did not become a professional footballer. But what I became, I became a coach, a motivational speaker, a mentor that helps people who's gone through the same things that I've been through. I have the tools to encourage them out of their situation so that they can have something that they can say, if he made it, so can I. Mm. But it's my responsibility to take my dream, nurture my dream, water my dream. And then when the harvest comes, mm. you will enjoy it with those people that journeyed with you. Mm. Not everybody will say well done, but it's not for them to say well done or to look for a well done, but it's for you to make the dream a reality. Mm. And it requires humility. It requires tenacity. It requires resilience. It requires it requires the teachable spirit. It requires sensitivity to knowing where you're going. But it's also a, a mindset that says, I will not give up. Mm. I need to go to the next chapter. And when I get to the next chapter, I'll celebrate the chapter. But then it means there's another chapter. Wow. There is always another chapter. That is, I always tell people, success is a journey, not a destination. Because Ooh. the moment you achieve one goal, there is another one to be achieved. The only thing that have got a destination is failure because you always decide to stop at a particular destination. And Ooh. that is what failure is all about. But you made mention of not everyone is going to clap for you. Mm -hmm. Now I've mentored so many young people and one of the things that always comes up is that People are not supporting me. Those that seem to be supporting me are always bringing me down. They, they, they are on the high side, like not really like what I'm doing. Mm. Now, this is also another form of limitation. It's another mm. form of um, issue that really prevents people from maximizing their potential in a particular mm. environment. Mm. How mm. can you decide to take no for an answer? Or those that are not clapping for you, how can you still focus? Because a lot of people tend to focus on them. And because of that, they mm. miss their goal. How can people overcome mm. this? Woo, that's really good. <laughs> how you can overcome that is you have to remind yourself every day that mm. that dream that you have you have to buy into it. Mm. You have to buy into your own goal and dream. Now, sometimes it'll be tough. Sometimes it'll be easier to give up, to go on. But you have to trust and you have to speak into the dream that you have or the goal that you have. So when you're waiting for applause, sometimes people will applaud you, but hoping that you'll fail. Mm. And sometimes people will want you to fail. But when you say that nobody is there for me, what about you? Because you're the carrier of the goal. You are the carrier of the dream. So when you're looking for applause, it, it, you know, people need to encourage you based on what you know and where you're going. Because tomorrow they might not clap for you. Tomorrow they might not encourage you. And if you are looking for their validation, then it means you are neglecting the dream that you have inside of you. Mm. So take for instance, a friend of mine who is watching tonight, who is who is directing the Paradigm Shift Academy in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Now, she's been with me for, we've known each other for 18 years. 
But when I said to her about paradigm shift South Africa, do you know what she said? I'm going with you. Mm. I'm going with you. Mm. The reason why she's going with me is because she knew the dream that I had because I kept talking about the dream. Mm. I kept talking about the goal. I kept talking about the vision. I kept talking about the ambition. It might not be thousands of people that believe, but there might be one person. And sometimes we forget about the one person because we're looking for the multitudes. The one person can come into agreement with your goal. I'm telling you, it's got enough power for that dream to become a reality. <laughs> I'm laughing, yeah? Why am I laughing? Because you don't need too many people to succeed, isn't it? No. <laughs> you need just one. <laughs> Everything is one. Everything is one. one. Right? When yeah. you go to Muslim religion, it's Muhammad. When it comes to Christianity, it's Jesus. Right? Yeah. When we yeah. need a president in a country, it's what Everything is one. 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 <laughs> Come on. You don't need two. You need one. One person to believe in it. But it's so yeah. sad that why is it that people don't believe in themselves, but they believe that those that don't believe in them, because of them, they give up? Why? Mm. It's also because they haven't discovered who they are. Mm -hmm. And that's why people have comparisons. Mm. They compare themselves to other people. And all of us, we've been there. And I say it's nothing wrong to compare it's to take the principles of that person and apply it into your life. Don't become like them. Mm. Take the principles that have helped them to become who they are and where they are. Take the principles because principles is never outdated. Mm. Principles can never be outdated. You see, when you drive and you, you can be 60 years old in a car and you can be 18 years old in a car, when the traffic light turns red, all of us stop mm. because that's the principle. Mm. But 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 methods change. We we change in methods, different methodologies. This, but principle mm. is the same. So I've learned this in life. If I can learn from Oscar, mm. his principle, mm. and apply it into my flavor, mm. in how I am, what mm. makes me tick, and I am a I am. There's many Ricardos in the world. There is more than seven billion people on the planet, mm. but nobody is like me. Mm. No one. Mm. So I don't need to compare myself to anybody. Mm -hmm. I am unique. You are unique in who you are. So take the principles. Don't become like the person. Mm. Take the principles and apply it into your own life, which means what happens now? You've eliminated jealousy and you've eliminated envy in your life. Wow, wow. Look, I, 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 we see, you, you know why our energy is on the same level? Because, look, we are... <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like you coming to sit on my seat and me taking your seat because I'm, yeah. so much I also want to share. But today I'm the host, you know. <laughs> yeah, but 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 trust me, you are making some very salient points in there, and I, I I really agree with you. There is no other person like Oscar Bimpo. No one can be compared. No, no. Not Tony Robbins, not John Maxwell, not Les Brown, not Steve Harvey. There is only one Oscar Bimpo coming from a small town in Ghana, man. There is only one. Woo! There is the only one. You can't compare. Yes. Right? My accent is different. The way I dress is different. Mm. The way I speak is different. Mm. The way I present mm. myself is different. There is only one. Yes, and I think... This comes back to self-belief. How can people believe mm. in themselves? Because let me tell you this, wow. right? I had this problem. I identified my gift when I went to Ghana sometime. To make a long story short, I came back 2010, and that is where I identified this gift. Now, when I came in, I had a mm. problem. My problem was that, will a white man listen to Oscar Bimpo? Will an Asian listen to Oscar Bimpo? Would my own mm. black brothers listen to me? So that was a mm. problem. It really derailed my vision for a long time because I never had that confidence and self-belief. Until one day I met one young man. And that one young man changed my story with one word. That I can see mm. something in you, but you lack yes. confidence. So he directed me to Toastmasters. 
And Toastmasters has got what they call the icebreaker. That is your first speech. And when I did mm. my first speech, the room was filled with white people, Asians, my black people, and I had the standing ovation. Mm. And that was the breaking wow. of the ice. <laughs> now, people that don't believe in themselves, like the way I used to, yes. how can they really mm. break that cycle to achieve their goals? That's it. It's about trusting the people that journey with you. I'm not talking about people who is, um, uh, you know, who are who's trying to patronize you. I'm talking about people that really see something in you. You said one man, young man said to you, you've got the potential, but all you lack is confidence. Conf to work on confidence is easier than trying to find out who you are and what you have. So what he's saying, you have the tools, use it. You have the tools, use it, but confidence is needed. So when I became a public speaker, how I became a public speaker and motivational speaker, a friend of mine in South Africa, uh, um, Russell, he, he's got his own academy. So what he did with the award ceremony, the mayor of Cape Town, uh, they had a partnership uh, in this uh, uh, award ceremony. So my friend on the Tuesday said to me, I'm trying to get an MC for this event. I said, yeah, we need to get an MC. What happens? The Friday, I said, who's the MC? He says, don't worry. The MC will be there on Saturday morning. I said, great. I said, I'm going to remind you of it. And he says, yes. When he picked me up on the Saturday morning, I asked him, who is the MC? He said, you. Mm. I said, hold on a minute. Why didn't you tell me on Tuesday? He said, if I told you on Tuesday, you would have said no. Mm. But because you can't fail me now, you have to be the MC. Wow. And so what he did, he threw me in the deep end. Mm. And that day, the mayor of Cape Town said, I want you to be the master of ceremony in all these events. Oh so in God. our weakness, people who know that you carry something, you have to trust them. Mm. And so now speaking becomes easier. Mm. Speaking because I'm confident now. He threw me in the deep end. Because he said, you have it inside of you, mm. but you count yourself out many times. Mm. And he said, there's no way that you can tell me you're not doing it today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But I, I think I, I think that is, uh, there is one thing I always tell people. That when you set a goal, what you have to do is to bend all your bridges, right? So let me give you this example of an army of uh, an, an army um, official that took his army people to war right when they arrived this is a true story when they arrived at the war zone he just took a lighter and just put uh, fire on what on the ship so he bent the ship and this is what he told his army people now your comfort zone, that is the ship, has been taken away. Because what it means is that if you are losing the battle, you will be thinking that you have got a ship waiting for you to run away. Now, mm. your only option that you have is that you need to win this battle because there is no ship taking you back. Now, this was, it was even written in my book. And what it means is that when you set a goal, you need to bend all bridges that are going to take you back to your comfort zone. And that is what mm. your friend did. He yes. bent the bridge. So you didn't have no option to say, I'm not going to do it. Exactly. And if we have got that mindset, it means that we will succeed, isn't it? Exactly. And also the thing is about what he did, he didn't put me in the deep end so I can drown. He put me in the deep end because I have the gift mm. inside of me. Mm. So for people who do not believe in himself, that's where coaching and mentoring comes in. Mm. Because sometimes people see, it's just like the coach you said, when a coach mm. tells you to go play on that football field, express yourself, there's no pressure on you. Go in and express yourself. That player would nine times out of 10 
win the match for you. Mm. But if you have somebody who needs to be, uh, you need to have, uh, 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 you know, what we call flair. It needs to be, uh, you know, very experiential. If you say to that player, I want you to do this and I want you to do that, then you are limiting the player from expressing himself. So what happens, we will end up losing matches because of the coach not identifying the players that he has. So my friend, what my friend said, I know you have it inside of you, but mm. you are limiting yourself. Mm. So therefore, you in the deep end and you will find out, even if you can't swim, I'll throw you in the deep end and you will find a way to swim. Wow. You will find a way to swim. You will, you will, your, your, your body will tell you I can, but, mm. but naturally I can't. Mm. And so now speaking publicly, schools, Football clubs, sport athletes, students, university, colleges, call me. I speak to win. Mm, mm, mm. That's what I, I, I do. I speak to win mm. because I know I have a gift and in humility, it's my responsibility, not for famous status, but mm. for service. Well, not for famous status, but for service. Now, what mindset do people need to succeed in life? Your mindset needs to be, um, again, for me, as I, I always take myself back to my own story. Your mindset, you need to have something to hold on to. Mm. And a mindset, a resilient mindset. You have to have a mindset that says, you know what? I can do mm. what I put my mind to. Mm. And even if that requires you sometimes, this is now real talk. Even if it requires you to sometimes family members and friends to say to them, I cannot hang out with you for a season mm. because I need to fulfill what I've got inside of me. And sometimes it will cost you losing friends. It will lose, cost you losing family members for the sake of your dream. Mm. But it's the same people that you will begin to serve when you come out of that season. So your mindset needs to be, I have something and it's my responsibility to make sure that I get to the place where I need to be. Mm. So you have to be resilient. You have to have a mindset, a, 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 humble, a humble mindset. You need to have a mindset that says, you know what, I'm going to give it another go. Mm. A, a mindset that says, a mindset that says, I need to have the right people around me. So when mm. they direct me, they must only direct me according to the goal. Mm. I'll say that again. They must always encourage you based on your goal and your mm. dream. Mm. When they start telling you their own narrative, it means they try to deviate you away from your goal. Mm. And you need to have a mindset that says, um, a stubborn mindset in a, in a good way, not in a bad way, a stubborn mindset that mm. says, I'm going to do it again. Yes. I'm going to go again. It's a yes. stubborn mindset. That says, I will not fail. I will yes. not give up. A yes. stubborn mindset that says, I've been here before. I've, I've been in a pit. And now mm. I've came out of the pit. It's mm. my responsibility to go to the palace. Mm, 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 mm. From the pit to the palace. <laughs> yes, sir. How can people really generate this mindset? Because you see, it's, it's not straightforward. It's not easy, isn't it? It's not. It's coaching. That's what I'm saying with like tonight's discussion about role models. What we're talking about is modeling something. Mm -hmm. It's role modeling something. So that mindset, coaching helps you in that mindset. Because what coaching does, it asks you questions that you don't necessarily think of. Mm. So if I ask somebody, if they say to me that I've got a goal and a dream and ambition, and I'm like, yeah, I, I feel your energy. But how is it that you don't don't put that energy and that energy is not moving you closer to your dream? Mm. What is the limiting belief that causes you to feel stuck? Mm. And we explore that. We explore those sort of things because all of us, there's certain times where we do have limiting beliefs. But mm. what coaching does, coaching, if we have a culture of coaching each other and not kind of undermine one another in our friendship circles, mm. in schools that I'm working with young people, I'm teaching them in a group that all of us need to have a culture of coaching. What I mean by coaching is 
Don't look down on somebody else's dream or goal because that's not what you what you do. Mm. And somebody else will look at your dream and says, that's not for me. So how about all of us begin to collectively celebrate one another's differences, mm. celebrate diversity of gifts, celebrate diversity of talents, mm. and I will celebrate that with you. So what happens now is, first of all, you are not scared to take another step because there's somebody that's celebrating your mm. progress. Mm. So it is, it, friendships, it's, it's very important. Most of my friends, sir, is more than 15 years mm. because I value friendship. So when I share my goal with my friends, do you know what's going to happen? They're going to become excited about it. Mm. I'm looking for friends who can become excited about my dreams before I get to my reality. Mm. And if you can't be excited about my dream yet, you are going to be jealous about my reality. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's really deep. But the mind is everything. But I think we have underestimated the power of the mind for far too long, isn't it? Yes, exactly. The mindset mindset is key. I find myself in the UK. I first went to America. I couldn't speak. How can I say? I, I could speak English, but I was very... English has now become my first language. Mm -hmm. Afrikaans used to be my first language. My mindset is when I came to the UK, I was still thinking in a different language, Afrikaans, mm. but speaking English. But my mindset has shifted from thinking Afrikaans to thinking English. Mm. That's why I can fluently speak. Mm. So that's the mindset. When you put your mind to something, the mindset just, you have to set it. Mm. You know, our mindset, if you set your alarm for tomorrow morning, six o'clock, What's mm. going to happen? That alarm is going to go off. Mm. But if you don't set your alarm for six o'clock and you get late to work, mm. it's your problem. Mm -hmm. Because you haven't set the alarm. The alarm won't set itself mm. unless you do it manually. I'm just talking about, I mean, automatically. When you set your alarm, it means you can expect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that it will go off. Yes. So if you don't set your mindset, Mm. All the goals that you're talking to me about, your dreams, your ambitions of becoming whatever you want to become. If you haven't set your mind, it won't happen. Mm. It's predictable. You have to set your mind to get to where you need to go. Because if you don't set your mind, you won't achieve what you really desire. Mm. So and whose fault will that be? Your fault. Mm. Not your father, not your mother, not your friends, not nobody. You haven't set the alarm clock. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Set your mindset. So whenever I speak, now I can speak in all spheres. Mm -hmm. I can speak to presidents and prime ministers and the guy on the street corner, the, the drug addict, the, the homeless person. Mm -hmm. I can connect with anybody. Put me in front of people. I will encourage the socks off them. Ah. <laughs> Oh my God, I wish this interview would never end. I'm really enjoying it. You know, when I keep quiet, it means that I'm really enjoying it. But but you made a powerful statement. Now, you see, you made about traveling, yeah? Now, there's one thing I tell people about travel. And I said, look, if you are living in one country and you want to go to another country just to seek for greener pasture, mm -hmm. but you don't change your mindset before you board the plane, you can go to that new country that you think they are greener pastures, but you will still be broke and poor. Why? Because the mindset hasn't changed. Yeah. You know, in the most poorest country, there are still millionaires, yeah? People don't get it that way. The most poorest country on earth, there are still millionaires. Why? Because those people are not thinking like the masses. The moment you start thinking like everybody else. In this book, I wrote about how the mind works. And I talked about the mind is like the frequency of a radio. Mm. Now, when my radio is 98.1 and I want to put it to 100 megahertz, I need to mm -hmm. move it to a higher level. Now, meaning that if I set a goal when I'm here, and I need to get to here, I need to work on my, on my mind because I'm moving to a higher level. 
Now, the reason why a lot of people are not able to achieve their goals is that they, they set their goals at this level, but then getting to the higher level, they use the mindset that they had here to solve the issue here, and it's never going to work. You need wow. a different mindset because you are going on a higher level. That is why people set goals every year. They are not able to achieve it because they are using the mindset that they used to set the old goal to really what? Achieve the new goal. Wow. I was I was even like my sister in Cape Town. She just she just wrote something there. She was saying that the positive thinker sees the invisible feels the intangible and achieves the impossible mm, 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 and, and 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 yeah the positive thinker sees the invisible mm. feels the intangible the intangible is when you get excited about your dream and other people look at you and say you are mad that's mm. the intangible yes. the intangible says i'm gonna get there i'm mm. getting there I'm getting there. You become excited about something that's not there yet and achieves the impossible because what people thought was impossible has become possible in the intangible. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. In the intangible. So I always said this. I said, I will travel the world. I've never had a full-time job in my whole life. I said, I knew that there's something and it's greatness in me. And I don't need nobody to tell me that I knew it. And I, it's my responsibility to speak into that. So what happens? I need to get the right books, set my mind with the right books. I need to get the right friends, set my mind with the right friends. That is based on the intangible, but the intangible will become tangible when your mindset is set in the right frequency to use your words. In the right frequency. So. So I always knew I was destined for greatness. Mm. I always knew from a young age. And nobody could talk me out of this. Mm. It's my responsibility to make sure that the intangible becomes the tangible. But look at this, yeah? So now I can really connect, right? So Nikki Erasmus is the sister of Ricardo Erasmus. Yeah. And I see the energy and the kind of discussion we are having here, then Nikki comes up, bam, with this powerful quote that the positive yeah. thinker sees the invisible, feels mm -hmm. the intangible, and mm -hmm. achieves the impossible. She's a witness. Man, this, this, is, a witness. This, this is too deep. But but she is a witness. If you if you ask her, she will testify mm. on my behalf because I'm not just saying these things mm. to say it because it sounds profound. She saw it, lived out, role modeling in our house, in our community. That's why I say a culture of coaching, caring, showing compassion to the lost, the broken, showing young people that it's possible to get from the intangible to the tangible. But she is a witness of what I'm talking about tonight. So it's mm. not just coming up with some good thinking mm. and all of this. No, it has become a reality. So people always want to see the tangible, but they don't see the intangible. <laughs> hey! the, the intangible is more real than the tangible. I'll say that again. The intangible is more real than the tangible because when you, when you, when you sense the intangible, you already started believing that the intangible will become tangible. The tangible is just for other people to see what was the intangible. Mm. <laughs> this is this is this is so amazing. I, it's so amazing. Look, I'm going to take another hour to watch this program again because <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. But if you are watching us. All you can do is to share this for somebody to really watch this. We are living in a world that is full of negativity. We are living in a world where people have given up. We are living in a world where people think it cannot be done. We are living in a world where people think opportunities are just for a few. Some mm. of us, we started from nothing. Mm. That is the intangible. And today mm. we are seeing reality. The people that were really laughing at us when we started they are now telling people yes. that we are their best friends 
So you have to believe in that vision. When nobody is seeing it, you, you are the career of that vision. If yeah. you don't see it, nobody can see it. That is why if yeah. somebody tells you your vision is not possible and you give up, what it tells me is that you don't know what you were doing in the first place. Ooh. That, that, that needs to take another hour on what you just said there. Because... But Ricardo, <laughs> let, let's make it this way, right? That somebody wants to talk me out of the vision that I carry now. How long is it going mm. to take that person to convince me? Talk to me. Wow. 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 That is a question that I have to... People need to ponder on that question. Because, you know, what you see here today with Paradigm Shift Academy, 2014, it was the intangible that I started getting excited about. Now, in a pandemic last year, I started this because I knew that it's now time for the intangible to become tangible. So now somebody, somebody gave me money to become a certified coach. Because they put their money in the intangible that has now become tangible. Mm. So to answer the question is like, don't let people talk you out of your dream. Just mm. like you said, maybe you didn't believe it in the first place. Now, if you didn't believe it in the first place, dream another dream. Mm. You don't have to pay for dreaming. Mm. It's free. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> dreaming is free so I, I i you know most of my motivational sessions and speaking engagements i always tell people one day and i know people will be quoting me some years to come i always tell them that one day i'm going to stand on the platform with the size of wembley and wembley can take ninety thousand people yeah. right and people will be sitting down to listen to me no, I want to sit in front. I want to sit in front. No, you you'll be by my side. When I finish, you'll be the next talking. <laughs> yeah, but 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 the point I'm trying to make is that it doesn't cost you to dream. When yeah. you think my dream is so big, that is your problem. Because you see, that I've got to the stage where I've realized that. People are not hungry enough. You see, when you always have food in the fridge, you refuse to think about how you are going to get food. There is one thing about, I, I, I like about Anthony Joshua, right? When he's training, he has a T-shirt that he wears. And on the front of that T-shirt and at the back, he has written, stay hungry. That statement is a book of his own. Stay hungry. Many people in life are not hungry enough to change their life, to change their destiny, to really get to where they want to be in life. And it all starts here. It starts there. Or maybe they've become complacent mm -hmm just become hungry again mm. because complacency means you must have done something before and you've become complacent positive or negative mm. when we become complacent we say this is where we'll stay mm. this is where we'll camp mm. out don't build a house when you have a dream don't build a house have a tent because when you need to move, you can just take the pegs out mm. and move to the next place mm. and set your tent up again. Mm. But if you have a, a fixed mindset, you won't go where you need to go. But if you have a growth mindset, mm. you will go where you need to go. Mm. But if you are fixed, that's where you stay. But if you have a tent, mm. you can move whenever you want to move. Mm. But it's about being hungry. It's about being having a mindset that says, I'm responsible for my dream. Mm. Nobody else. Mm. I am responsible for my dream because when I fail, I have to ask myself mm. why and, and, and what I could have done better. This is what coaching is. Mm. And that's why I love coaching young people. Mm. 
I love coaching young people because I know that if I can help their thinking. Mm. Yesterday, Oscar, I had one boy that I worked with six years ago. Mm. He was one of my mentees that struggled in school. Mm. Yesterday he came, I asked him to come in to speak to the new boys. The boy's got his own business, a plumbing and heating company, his own business. Mm. And you know what he said? He said, I had to change my mindset. Aish. And and mm. therefore, yeah, he had to change mm. his mindset. Mm. And now what happens? He's become part of my team mm. that gives possibilities from prison to purpose. To Hi, I love you, man. I love you. Look, this is a must-have book. Mindset Revolution, Re-Engineering Your Mind from Prison to Purpose. If we want to talk about this book, we have another 72 to whatever hours to go. <laughs> Just get it on Amazon. It's yes. cheaper than a bucket of KFC. It is cheaper <laughs> than a big pizza. Huh? Get it. Invest <laughs> in your mind, not in your stomach today. Huh? <laughs> Exactly. Yes, I've got it's, I've got so much comments here, Ricardo. Let me just read a few of them, then we should be out of here. And if you are watching us, we want you to share this for somebody to have an opportunity to watch this. Share this, drop it on WhatsApp in, in some groups, pages for somebody to have the opportunity to watch this. And also like our page T2I T uh, T2I TV UK on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I have also hey. Mindset Revolution is already on Ricardo's phone. The book is already on Ricardo's phone. And the person that says Ricardo is the definition of positive energy, Mara Caesar, bought two copies. This book is flying. Look, R Ricardo, look, the, my intangible is not so tangible. Look, people are buying the book every day, sending me pictures left, right, center. And I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. And the kind of feedback and reviews I'm getting man i'm really enjoying this right you see the best thing that can happen to you uh to get to the stage where you do what you love doing and being getting compensated along the way you will never die early <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do yes. you know that statistically they say a lot of heart attacks happens on mondays why because yeah. a lot of people are doing what they hate, but they still wake up every Monday to do it. Life is too short for you to continue to do what you hate doing. I don't <laughs> care your excuses. I don't care your bills. Change it. Wow, come on. I don't care your excuses, your emotional excuses. Change it because life is too short for you to continue to do what you hate doing. Wow. Mindset revolution. Guys, get yourself your mindset revolution. Get yourself the mindset revolution. Look, let me read some few comments. I have got Vidalante saying that I'm going to dream another dream. Vidalante, mm -hmm. dream another dream and believe that it can be done. Now I've got Ellen Anthony saying, so true, Ricardo. And I've got Mira Caesar saying, Ricardo is the definition of positive energy. I've got Cindy Peterson saying, ha, 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 the tangible was just for others to see. Ah, such <laughs> amazing nuggets. Then I've got um, Cindy Peterson also said, where well said Nikki? I have got Mira Caesar saying, mindset revolution. I've got Nikki Erasmus saying, Oscar, you are speaking fat. Thank you very much. I have got Mara just giving you stars, man. Too many stars. Huh? I've got Ellerin saying, mindset is a powerful thing. Amen, sir. Then I've got Nikki Rasmus saying, the positive thinker sees the invisible, feels the intangible, and achieves the impossible. That is really a powerful statement. Look, I have got too many, too many, too many comments. Yeah, I can't read all. Norma Ellie saying people are afraid or uh, to fail, so they need someone like Jesus to wait to for them to fix it. <laughs> so people are waiting on Jesus. No, Jesus is waiting on you to take a step. <laughs> so I've got Nicolette Andre saying most people are surrounded by doubters. 
and that causes them to think less of themselves. That is a very powerful thing. I agree. Rotimi Jayasimi says, there are no prototypes of you. You must believe you are the best yeah. and only version. Go for it. Look, Ricardo, wow. people are falling in love with you, man. People are falling in love with you. Cindy Patterson said, looking forward to tonight. Cindy, he also said, wow, Mr. Ricardo Erasmus, amazing, amazing individual. Look, you are blessed, man. That's all I can say. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the opportunity. It was, I am just, empow I'm empowered, I'm inspired. And sometimes you come on these things. And just like I said to you, I knew I was going to be empowered by you. Mindset revolution. Get it on Amazon, yeah? Get it on Amazon, huh? Ricardo, oh, get it on Kindle. Yes. <laughs> it's on Kindle as well. Yes. You can get the paperback and also the Kindle version. Erasmus, Ricardo Erasmus, your last word to everyone that is watching us. Yeah, my last word is it's dream again. Mm. Write your dream again. Make it plain. Mm. And find the right people who can support you in your dream. Mm. Because at the end of the day, it's your narrative. It's your story. Mm rise up again and move forward mm. my last word to everyone is very simple and that is see your life as writing a book do you like the introduction do you like the chapter one of your life is your chapter your chapter one of is it satisfying how many chapters do you want in your book you see, there are two kinds of books. There are books that you are going to write by yourself, or there are books that others will write, but they are going to quote you in that book. Now, based on the value that you have placed in their lives, you can be a chapter in their book, you can be a paragraph in their book, you can be a sentence in their book, you can be a full stop in their book. You can be highly irrelevant in their book. Where do you stand? It's up to you. Hold your pen and write your own story. And sit down and listen and watch that story. That if somebody hears this story, are they going to be inspired by what I've done? Mm. If you haven't reached that, that level yet, it means that there's more room for improvement. Go on the drawing board and as Ricardo said, dream again. Leave a legacy. I always ask people regarding this question. When I Google your name, what comes up? Hey. Huh? I remember I went to Ghana for an interview on one of the big TV stations. And they ask me, so you said you want to come and speak to, on our morning show. What have you done? And I told them to Google my name. <laughs> the, the, the story, the, you see, the conversation became so easy because they had over 20 pages of Oscar Bimpo. When I Google your name, what comes up? Leave a legacy. For the next generation, yes, sir. And it starts yes, sir. today. The time is now. There is no future if you are idle today. The only future you have is that you are pursuing your vision today, because that is what is going to warrant a different resource tomorrow. Thanks everyone for your time. This is Step Out with Oscar Bimpo live on T2Y TV UK. If you are watching us for the first time, like our page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Because these are the kind of discussions we bring to you on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and on Saturdays, three times a week. If you are down when you think it's not possible, you will meet another Ricardo Erasmus on Tuesday. And your energy will come back. Thank you, everybody, for your time. And God richly bless you. And thank you, Ricardo. I really enjoyed every bit of it. Man, thank Thanks, you man. very much. And see you guys on Tuesday, 8 p.m. UK time, 7 p.m. Ghana time. That is GMT. Just join us. Let's build this platform. Like our page. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.
See you guys and God richly blessed all of you.